Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition. Um, where we're here to give you insight and information about the board games you might want to have in your collection. But today is an unboxing video um, and so I'm here to show you what's inside the box. And today we're going to be unboxing Colourful Treasure um, from Pokey Design. Um, and this is a game I've just received at Eschenspiel um, from the Taiwanese board game design group and it looked really interesting. Now, I don't know much about it um, other than it's really colourful. Um, I saw it set up and I'm really curious to see a little bit more about it. Um, so what I know at the moment is that, well, well we're gonna go find treasure. I'll, I'll look at the back in a second, but it's called Colourful Treasure, right? It's in a little treasure box. <laughs> Which first off, I think is just cool, right? I think that's just straight up cool. That's a ni really nice touch. And it is a game for two to four players to take 20 minutes for ages six and up. And it's a box also that is popping out of the top. So I think there might be stuff in here to unbox, but it rattles. I think it's really pretty. So let's see what's on the back of it. So colorful treasure. So this is a travel around the world and look for glorious gems buried among the mysterious wonders of the world. So we're off to get us some cool gems. Um, the back of the box doesn't really show us much about the game. It's gonna be cards, color cards. Um, it tells you kind of the components and things like that. Um, and where you can get some information. So let's see what's actually inside. Cause it's, it's very dainty, isn't it? It's very cute. Okay, so whoop. Okay, that is awesome. <laughs> I see that? I just opened it up. Back full of diamonds! They sent me diamonds! Oh my god, but these are incredible! You know, all water droplets and barrage eat your heart out. I was not expecting that. Look at that! Chunky, chunky, beautiful diamonds. Wow. Good job, little game. I, lo I love when you open something and be like, what is this? Talk about feeling looks. Okay, those are incredible really really cool okay so what else is in this tiny box and it is actually on purpose the, this box is taller than this so it's supposed to look like that so we won't go straight for the cards because I won't so we got some tokens here first let's have a look at the token what kind of tokens do we have so we have ooh, tokens with like the two faces from Easter Island um, one with a gem one that says like no key and no card this one has a key on it um, these are very, um, thin, but they're really slippy, so they're quite nice, you know, they're nice in your hand, like, they make a good sound. Yeah, they're, they're nice, they feel good, they feel good anyway. And a tiny token, so it's not too many tokens. I assume it's going to be a nice light little game, just because it's in such a small box, but that could be horribly biased of me. Alright, we have to get to the cards, because they're in the way of getting to the rule book. And it's a deck of cards with no tab. So, let's try this out. Oh, did I get lucky? I'll tell you now. Yes, I did. Whoop, whoop. All righty then. Whoops. Now. And so, this looks like this for scoring. What do you guys think? See, I should have looked at the rules first, but no, we're going to look at the rules last because I'm a genius. So, it looks like points for the number of gems you get, right? Doesn't it? It's on this side. These are pink gems. Oh, same one, two, three. No, this is different. So there's two sides. Yeah, this is brown. There's two sides of these. So there's four of these, and this for up to four players. So this will be one for each player. Okay. So then with this, so it looks like you, this looks like one of these things you pick up victory points for. Um. Woo. Psychedelic. Look at this. What is it? A seven. Okay. So. If you have the key and the thing, you get this. I'm confused. And look, there's a little monuments from around the world. Very cool. Oh, speaking of around the world, here's a map of the world with all the different places on it. So, Christ the Redeemer in Brazil, Pisa Terra in Italy, Stonehenge in England, Great Wall in China. Okay. Oh, best hunter in colorful treasure. Share your winner photo with colorful treasure. I like that. So you may have seen that in Sterling games. They do that in Everdell and in Black Orchestra. So it's here to, to show, show that you won. I like that. Okay, now these cards are amazing. Look at that. That's just joy right there in a the box. And then, yeah, they do change color because these are cooler. All right, so let's see what we got on the other side of the card. So we got diamonds. And it's got Leading Tower of Pisa and some other places. Okay. We got triangles and rounded gems, black gems, cubes. 
I really like this. This looks fun. <laughs> this looks really, really fun. Treasure! Uh, one of the cards are nice. Um, they're not linen finish, but they're kind of waxy, um, durable ones. Um, and, you know, they kind of won't get grimy. Um, this is the kind of game that could see a lot of play. And it wouldn't get tarnished. Look at the symbols on them. I want to know what it means. I have to go to the rule book. I'm sorry. But they're lovely. The backs of them are crazy cool. I'm easily entertained by bright colours. Alright. And then... Whoa, come here. Didn't feel like coming out to me. Okay, so we've got a nice little... A small rule book. This one looks like to be in English. So I'll put that other one back in. And it's an open up your rule book. Dink. So we travel around the world, look for glorious gems buried among the mysterious wonders. The colours of the wonders hint at the type of gem that might be hidden. Okay. So it looks like you set up the game like this with all the cards and it seems to be kind of a bit of a memory game about remembering where things go. That's cool. Yeah, you sort them out, place one diamond token above each row, gameplay, clockwise order, you must reveal them. Yeah, that's on the back. Curious to know how you win. If you reveal the key chest, when there are 10 or fewer wonder cards left in the game, the game ends. There's a younger, a junior variant too. There's advanced rules. Um, that's what the tokens are for, the advanced rules. Um, cool. So that's okay. I, I, I'm so I'd like to try that out. I don't have enough memory games in my collection. My husband's really bad at them and I'm quite good at them. So I've, al I've always liked them. It'd be cool to have another. Um, but yeah, wow, this is really exciting. I, <laughs> I love the box it comes in. I just, there's something about the way it's put together, the thought that went into it. Like, look at those. Um, that makes it really exciting. Um, and look at all that. And it fits back this tiny little treasure box. Awesome. So I've just unboxed um, Colourful Treasure from Pokey Design. I hope you enjoyed going through it as much as I did. That was really exciting. Um, and thank you very much for watching. And if you like what I do, why not like or subscribe to the channel um, so you can get updates about my latest videos. I, I usually make more, um, all going well. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and apparently hunting for treasures. Um, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.